You could really use the grabbing system in any situation where you would use a traditional chain sling. So any situation where you either need the adjustability or you need the durability of a chain sling versus a synthetic or a wire rope sling. Welcome to Bazella HQ. My name is Ben, and this is the Lifting and Rigging Channel. Today we're here in the shop, so Felix Nyberg from the Crosney Groups can show us the Gravic Chain Sling System. This is a light chain sling system with only a few components. My question for him is how does it compare to a traditional chain sling or other sling assemblies? So, let's find out. We actually went out to end users, to customers, and talked about their challenges of chain slings. So what they loved about chain slings is that it's durable and that it's adjustable because chain slings are really the only type of slings that you can easily adjust the leg length to accommodate asymmetrical loads. What they didn't like was that chains are heavy. So here we have a traditional chain sling. You also have a lot of forge components. And in a traditional chain sling system, you will use a lot of connectors as well that makes the system much heavier. And in this case, we have the master link one, four connectors, so that's five, six, seven. Because this is loose on a chain, you usually need to grab hold on the hook and then put it in with your other hand. So it's a little bit more cumbersome to use in addition to being much, much heavier. So we looked at how could we simplify chain slings? How can we solve some of these customers' uh, issues with a new design? So what we did was we combined the components into one. So right here you have the MGD, which is a single forge piece that integrates essentially seven components into one. So it's a master link, it's connectors connecting the master link to the chain, and it's also grab hooks, which not only makes it much lighter, but also makes it quicker to inspect. It makes it easier to use and uh, makes it easier to assemble if you need to change out or uh, repair the sling in the field. So now we're lifting this simulated load here and as you can see we've added a shackle to one side so we got a, a asymmetrical load. So you can see we're now we're lifted up this side, that side is already is still on the ground. So once we lift it a little bit more it's starting to start shifted. So this is not a good situation because we're loading one leg much more than we are the other so if we Bring this down again. And with the graphic system, we can now just shorten here at the top. And you can see now it lifts even. So that's the main benefit with the chain sling that we can balance out the load. But if we have a 20 foot chain sling, we have a 50 foot chain sling, and it's already way up there. It's gonna take some time to move the crane up and down for adjusting. And let's say that takes, you know, 15, 20 seconds to bring it back up and realize you need to shorten the other side a little bit more. Bring it back down, adjust it, bring it back up again. You just lost another minute. So we came up with this component and the mid grab allows you to, sh to shorten in line. So instead of having to shorten up here, I can now shorten anywhere on the chain. So. If we remove the shortening on this side and we instead add the mid grab, so you just bunch up the chain, we can now shorten it down by the hook as much as we need. So we still need to shorten this side a little bit more. We just slack the chain now. We don't need to bring this all the way down. Just slack the chain. Pop the pin out on the top, shorten it as much as we need, lock it again. So now we're pretty much balanced out. So instead of having to wait for it to go up and down, up and down, what I do is I just slack the chain, make a minor adjustment and test it. So that also is something that really saves a lot of time. And if you have 10, 20 lifts in a day, that's a lot of time lost. And if you have three guys working on the project, then you're gonna lose a lot of man hours in a day just trying to balance out your loads. So when you're lifting an even load such as, you know, precast concrete stairs, 
you're lifting different loads on a work site. Having the mid grab on there, in addition to having the ability to do your major adjustment on the top, really just improves that efficiency on the work site. We do see it more used in industries where you need that flexibility. So for example, construction, where you're doing different, lo different loads throughout the day, job shops where in an industrial environment you're lifting different types of equipment it's never the same load that you're lifting uh, where we see less is where you would see for example the same load being lifted day in day out they don't need a functionality or spend money for for grabbing so anywhere where you need that extra flexibility the uh, grabbing system and being able to adopt the chain sling for your needs uh, our industries where Gravic is very commonly used. So here we have a three-leg Gravic sling. This chain sling, this Gravic chain sling is a flexi-leg. Here we have attached the quick pins, which allows you to open up and remove legs as needed. So now it's a two-leg chain sling. So that's really the ethos of the Gravic chain sling is flexibility and ease of use. So instead of having to struggle in tying back a chain leg that you don't need. Here you can just completely remove it. And the tag, which is a flexi leg tag, will show you the working load limits dependent on how many legs you have. So it really increases the flexibility of a chain sling. And essentially, if you have a job shop, you're out on a work site, you're out on a construction site, somewhere where you do a lot of different types of lifting, this will allow you to change the chain sling Per your needs. So we have a lot of customers telling us that they only need to use one chain sling. You can get you know, a 20 foot chain sling and uh, you can shorten it all the way back up with the CDs and the CGDs and you can remove the legs that you don't need. So this really allows you for ultimate flexibility in the field. So for sites like uh, job shops, construction sites, a mobile crane that goes out and do different jobs in a day, service trucks that are lifting cat engines out in the morning, then they're lifting a tire off a dumper truck or something, that, and they can only take so much equipment with them in the service truck because they have weight restrictions. The FlexiLeg really allows them to have one chain sling to do all their job needs. Another benefit with the uh, Gravix system is that we could change this master link. So right now we have a small master link on here, but we could change this, for example, if we had a big, big DIN crane hook we have a MFA twist, which is a master link that is specifically designed to go on the cranials. And we could change the uh, subcomponents, we could change an oversized master link. So we have a lot more options with the Gravic chain slings. So the Gravic system uh, was invented in the early 2000s. Uh, so it's been in the market for a long time. Many people still aren't aware of it. But the Gravic has, for the last 20 years, proven itself in the field and we've added to it in those 20 years. We've enhanced the features, we've added components, and uh, we've worked through all the kings of the system. So today, it's been proven in the field for the last 20 years, and it's becoming more and more adopted. And once the end user tests the Gravix system, they are very uh, reluctant to go back to a traditional chain sling, just because how much lighter it is, how much more ergonomic it is, how much more flexible it is, and how much more easy it is to use. If you have questions about the Gravix, then feel free to drop them in the comments and Felix or I will find you an answer. Or you can always contact Mozilla's Lifting and Rigging Division. The links are in the description below, along with a ton of other resources from our learning center. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can give this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe to the bell so you never miss a video. My name is Ben, and I'll see you in the next one.